Hello, it is Friday, January 24th at approximately 6.05 p.m. Um, I'm making this video to um, talk uh, very briefly about my cross-Canada walk from Newfoundland to Victoria, British Columbia. The destinations have changed over and over. Um, and they, they will continue to change, or not the destination won't continue to change, but uh, places within the walk, um, destinations before the final destination will continue to change. Anyway, um, that's not the focus of this video. I, uh, I, I went on and on and on and on many times, as I just did, um, about that walk. Um, initially, the way that I had it um, planned out, or ideally I would have had it planned out, was... Um, to leave City Hall St. Thomas, I'm pointing at it, right across the street from my office, to walk to London, to fly out to Newfoundland, to um, leave there May, uh, just the, the Friday before May 24th weekend was when I planned on walking from St. Thomas to London and then flying out to Newfoundland uh, in order that I leave uh, the Tuesday following May 24th weekend. That date, however, has changed, um, and it had to. And it's not to postpone it, uh, quite the contrary. I, uh, that would leave me with almost exactly four months to, to plan for it and yada, yada, yada. Um, I, uh, I changed the date today. Um, I'm only making it known now that uh, the date for that walk has changed. On, um, I'm just going to look at the calendar up here. Tuesday, April 1st, I will leave City Hall to walk to London to um, spend the night in London before heading to Newfoundland um, to begin the walk shortly after arriving in Newfoundland. Um, I'm going to post some pictures in this video, a uh, short slideshow, to give a vague idea of my route and um, it's... Uh, you're going to notice that it's not a cross-Canada walk. As I've mentioned many times before, um, for the most part, when people do their cross-Canada walks, they walk across Canada. You'll notice by my map, um, it's I think there's seven pictures. It's going to be in a slideshow, which is going to take all of probably, I don't know, 50 seconds to view. Um, you're going to notice I'm not walking across Canada. I'm walking all over Canada, making my way across uh, all the while. Um, so, yeah, the date has changed from May 2-4 weekend, as we know it here in Canada, to April 1st. There's a lot of reasons for that, and I will get to those reasons soon. I said this was going to be a brief video, so I'm going to keep it at that for now. Um, I've got a lot of planning to do for that walk in a very short time because it's, well, it is two months and one week from, wow, two, two, wow, I didn't realize it was that, that close, but, um, yeah, um, unfortunately, um, like the last walk, I'll be doing this alone again, not unfortunately that I'll be doing it alone, um, I've had, um, I've had some people offer to help and such, however, a couple, uh, a couple people had to back out as a result of, um, serious issues going on with them, so this is going to be a um, solo effort again, but that's cool um, for another reason. Um, but that doesn't matter. The dates changed. I'm gonna start the walk April first, not May two four weekend. So um, I've got a lot of work to do, and I'm going to get to that another time. Um, so April fourth or April first, two thousand fourteen. I will keep on walking in the free world, as um, my friend Greg uh, titled the first walk for me when I was walking in the free world. Um, maybe I'll get the opportunity to meet Neil Young on that walk. He lives here. Not here, but in Canada. Anyway, enough.